Oh, what is going on, friends and fellow paramotor enthusiasts? So yesterday, I did a thing where I took off on ice skates on my paramotor on a frozen lake, and it was mad sketchy because ice skates plus paramotors are inherently sketchy. Today, it actually snowed a little bit last night, and I figured, perfect opportunity, why don't we do a paramotor ski launch? I've done it before, and it's not that much of a challenge, in comparison to ice skates at least. But we're gonna try to do some ski launching if I can find my skis. All right, so we're down here at the park, and the snow situation, I would call it maybe an inch or two. It's kind of slushy because it's warmer. It's almost 40. So first I'm gonna just taxi around with the motor because it should be fun and it'll get me a little practice. But also the Maverick Adam 80 mobile, I'm still not really satisfied with how the harness feels. It doesn't feel like it cups me in. I'm always, I feel like I'm leaning out and that might just be a matter of the hang point. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my hang point forward a little bit more still and see if that does it. Additionally, with ski launches, you're adding weight to your feet, like a significant amount. So that actually affects the hang point and will make you lean forward because of that weight. So it's a smart idea if you're doing a ski launch anyway, to put your hang point forward to counteract that. But I'm gonna do it for both the ski launch and just in general, and we'll see if we can get the harness feeling a little bit better. Quads are on fire. <laughs> There's this tiny white dog that's staring at me like I'm an alien right now. There's a huge difference doing this on skis versus ice skates. Skis, I can literally like lean my body back to get the thrust to push me forward. Ice skates, you have no forward and aft lean. You have to like stay perfectly balanced. The other thing is ice skates, everything's just so slippery. You can fall. Skis on the other hand, way more stable. I'm gonna get my stuff together. We're gonna go for a ski launch. We'll buzz around the park, do some ski foot drags, have a good old time. Almost died on that one, fellas. <laughs> that was sketchy. <laughs> Look at this. That's right where I went. I almost ate it. It is hilariously awesome to fly around with skis on your feet. Let's try to do like a power taxi. I know that if I put too much weight on my skis, I'll get going really slow. <laughs> that was not it. That was almost no bueno. I gotta get my tips up more. Ooh. 
I don't know what the deal is, fellas. I think it's the hang point, because I still feel like I'm kind of far forward. Every time I go to get down on the ground, uh, my toes are just pointed at the ground way too much. Okay, serious problem. When I try to like go in for a foot drag, I just can't. Like as soon as I start to put my weight on the skis, I'm leading forward. And that's not where you want to be for a proper landing. You want to get your weight like evenly distributed on the skis. That's probably why I had such a hard time getting off the ground. Because I was like essentially leaned forward. You know, if all else fails, I could abort my skis over the park. Like just whack them off and land on my feet. I almost feel like that would be a better idea. <laughs> Dude, when you get some speed going, it starts to carry the skis. Like they start to be aerodynamic and twist around. All right, Jeff is up here with me now. Jeff is flying his Sirocco 2, uh, and he just tied the tip steering in. So he's got 2D steering on it. Looks like he's feeling it out. It is pretty beautiful flying out here with snow, I gotta say. It's kind of cool. It's a little bumpy. It's still early in the day, so we're bumping around. <laughs> I don't even know what that's called. It's probably named something in the ski world where you go off a jump and you do like an X. All right, we're coming in on final approach. Well, first approach to kick off a ski. I'm starting to feel a little bit of snow on my face, so that might be a thing. Judging by how sketchy that takeoff was, I think kicking the skis off is definitely the right plan. Uh, I know you guys might want to see me crash, but I don't really feel like crashing, so... We're gonna... There's absolutely no one at the park right now, so... My ski can't hit anyone. That worked well. Look at that. <laughs> no more skis. Oh, I instantly feel more comfortable. All right, the question still remains. Will I face plan? Jeff is apparently not liking this weather either. <laughs> He's coming in for a landing. Nice one, Jeff. Ready to watch me biff? Or not? Hopefully not. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that's a mission success. Turn on some lights, maybe it'll help. Uh, lessons learned for the day. Ski launching is way easier than ice skate launching. However, if you don't have your hang point dialed and your harness dialed, it can get really complicated really fast. And that's exactly what happened. So I feel like if my hang point was reclined more. When I slide out of the seat, I would have had a better angle to get on my skis and land safely, like I've done in the past. Um, but that was with the Scout and a different hang point, different setup. So, good lessons learned. Also, when snow becomes slush, there's a whole lot of friction going on, and it was hard to get enough speed to take off with a little atom. So, interesting lessons. We'll have to apply it to next time when there's more snow, hopefully not as slushy. I'm gonna sign off for now. My arm is getting really tired holding this here camera. Yeah, don't vlog and drive because it's not safe. The police will pull you over, get arrested. But uh, until next time, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did, hit subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Risky Biscuits logo, out. Bzzz.